All right, guys, thank you for checking out this video. I'm going to make it as short and sweet as possible and just hit the uh, mostly all pain points. I don't think I have anything good to say about the Pluto Square litter boxes, so I'm just going to show you a few things, and then you can decide for yourself. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the review because, honestly, I didn't have the units very long before I decided um, that they weren't for us. And, um, yeah, so let's just take a look. All right, this spot is vacant now, but I did have a litter box here, and um, I was walking around the living room, and I noticed it smelled like cat pee. And there was, so the unit was facing, the front was maybe right about here, and there was urine all over the back, and then dripped down along the sides. I think what happened was the unit, urine got behind it, and then just dribbled down and around, and it started to dry up and cake up, and I had no idea, because it's not like I come back over here all the time because it's an automatic litter box. So let's go take a look at the litter box. Here's our second litter box. The first one is in the garbage, all right? It's gone. This one is in a large garbage bag because it was upstairs, and it too was uh, leaking urine, except I have carpet upstairs. And when I tried to move it, a whole bunch of urine ran down the side of my leg. So there's gotta be urine in here somewhere. Let's take a look, I haven't uh, opened it up yet. All right, this, guys, this is like after a week, okay? So one thing to understand is that this, there's always gonna be a gap here. They didn't do anything to fix that. Sure, they have this sil silicone wall here, but the urine leaks to the back. Let's take a look. All right, there's some good old fashioned urine there. I don't know if you can see this, but we got urine coming down. So no doubt there is a whole bunch of urine behind the machine on our carpet. I've already removed the screws. I haven't pulled this off, so we'll take a look together. And for those astute viewers, you will notice that this one, uh, it has a different name on it. It's Petsnology instead of Pluto Square. So one unit that they sent us, we ordered two. It had the Pluto Square logo on it. The other one has this Petsnology logo on it. Let's remove this. Let's see what we got. All right, beautiful. Let's zoom in. So we got a nice collection of litter and dried urine. Hey, some of the urine's still wet and it's been like four days. So, uh, oh my God, that smells horrible. Listen, I'm not gonna spend another moment with this in my garage having it smell like urine in here. I'm just going to tell you how it is. This thing's a piece of garbage. It's fundamentally flawed, okay? If you buy it, I'm sorry, return it as quickly as you can. If you did the Kickstarter, then uh, we all got screwed. And the only comfort I have is that they didn't just take $500 and give me nothing. They took $500 for these two units and they had to spend a lot of their time and their money trying to manufacture something. And in the end, they failed miserably. All they've done is create a new method to convince cats to urinate on the floor through a series of poorly designed plastic channels and failure of thought. This thing is way too small. All right, here's my hand. We're, we're missing a whole bunch of room here. This thing, they had to add this. This thing doesn't do anything. Might as well not even be there because all the urine drips down, comes around the back drips down, drips down the side, inside and out, and then it just goes on your carpet and everything smells like piss. This is literally one of the worst products I've ever bought, and I only had it in the house for maybe a week or two, and I said, you know what, I'm, I'm just, I'm not even gonna try to engineer my way around it. This, if you wanna know where to put this, I'll show you where to put it, because it's the only place it belongs. Don't buy it. And if you did, just throw it away. Save yourself the trouble. Maybe it'll work for a kitten, but once they grow to be more than seven pounds and 
they can urinate this high or higher, and we're only looking at maybe three inches, then you're screwed. All right, so let's go put this where it belongs. My life is about to get a lot better. My only regret is that I didn't do this before I opened the box and I wasted all my time with this. Oh, and yeah, by the way, it sucks connecting to the Wi-Fi. I'm sure you'll find that out if you bother trying to, to use it. This is uh, optimal placement. And I know this thing, if I try to throw it away, well, it's not with the bag. I'm just gonna get more pee on me. So uh, we're gonna end it here. Leave your comments. Sorry for the video quality. I, I just don't care. I care as much about the video quality as I do the quality of this unit. I just wanted to keep anybody else from buying this. Take care. Damn it, now it smells like piss in my garage. <laughs>